readers, hi boys and girls. Our next book of the day is titled Wolber. And it's written by Leslie Holaski and illustrated by Lee Harper. Remember that I'm going to be modeling our new learning target. And our new learning target is making predictions, which means in the end, we want to be able to jot and write about our predictions based on the clues in your text. And readers make predictions to think about what their text will be about. Readers also use clues from the text to decide what will happen next. And remember in our stories yesterday, this what will happen next is we want to keep a close eye on Wilbur. So we want to keep an eye on his thoughts, his feelings, his actions and his reactions, as well as the other characters. And together, those two things will help us think about what is going to happen next in the story. Oh, here we go. Wilbur. And if you're wondering which one of all those sheep is Wolber, there he is. Not down here with the rest of them. He's up there. And I wonder why. I bet you'll find that out in today's story. Wolver, Wolver had a little trouble with the herd today, said Ma. What happened, asked Pa. I don't want to stand with the sheep, said Wolver. I ran with the dogs instead. But those, do those dogs are half wild, said Pa. I know, said Wolver. Isn't it great? They'll, they'll run circles around you, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? And here he was out here playing with them. And some clues to, to hear in the text right away is hearing Wilbur's reaction. Isn't it great? And then there's his parents and their worry. And here's Grandpa. Here's Grandpa. There's Grandpa. Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. So you have Grandpa who's back here and he's chilled and it's like he's encouraging them. Everything will be okay. And then look at his. Look at Wilbur's parents pulling. Look at Dad's teeth kind of chattering. You can see Mom's worry in the face. So they're so worried and stressed about Wilbur. Wilbur. Wilbur had a little trouble in shearing barn today, said Ma. You say that again. Look, all his friends got shaved, but not Wilbur. What a what happened? asked Pa. Uh, I don't want to share my wool, said Wilbur. Being woolly feels nice. And if you guys notice the pattern so far, right from the very beginning with Wilbur, he's he stands out. He's different. His reactions are different than what sheep are typically used to. All sheep get shaved, right? They get their wool off, especially if it's hot out. And look, look at all this tinkering he's doing. You don't see the rest of the sheep doing that. So let's keep thinking about what we're learning about Wilbur and how we make our predictions in the rest of the story. Spring, but it's springtime, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Oh, 
your wool so long, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. What do you think right now, boys and girls? What do you predict Wilbur will do next? What do you think he'll do next? So we want to say, I predict Wilbur will, or I think Wilbur will, I think Wilbur might build a rocket. He loves to tinker. Made me think of the night sky. I'm sure he loves stars. What's your prediction? What do you think Wilbur might come up with next or do next? Think about that a minute. Let's see. Let's check on that prediction. Oh my goodness. Look at Wilbur. <laughs> I love him so much. Wilbur had a little trouble carding wood, carding wool today, said Ma. Check him out. What happened? Asked Pa. Oh my word, Wilbur. Look at him. I carded my own wool, said Wilbur. That's right, no more tangles. I definitely wasn't on my prediction on that one. What about you? Oh, I love him. I love how brave and just crazy and creative he is. But sheep don't card wool on their bodies, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? <laughs> Look, he can't get his football helmet on. You just, you look so different, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Kind of reminds me of all of us getting new haircuts. Or kind of reminds me of my nephews when they grow their hair out. Check out Ma and Pa. Don't worry, said Grandpa. I love him. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Oh no, boys and girls, what do you think Wolber is gonna do next? Let's make a prediction. So out loud, you wanna say, I predict or I think and don't forget to say because. Because helps support your prediction. So if you think Wolber is going to decorate the football or create his own football, why? Why would we think that? What in the story has proven that? One, he likes football, and two, we've seen him tinker with things, and he loves to be creative. And so the because helps bring out more evidence from the story to support your thinking. Oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite parts, readers. Look how much fun he is having. Oh my goodness. Wilbur had a little trouble spinning today, said Ma. What happened, asked Pa. Oh, I rode around on the spinning wheel, said Wilbur. It was fun and something to think about here. Now that we know the characters a little bit more, the prediction here of what might happen next 
I'm thinking about Wilbur's parents. And I'm thinking about Grandpa. So I'm predicting here that maybe Mom and Pa might actually pull some hair out. That right there, they're really not going to understand, are they? This is really, really, really different behavior for, for a sheep. But it sure looks like a blast. I'd like to go on a ride with him. He cracks me up. But spinning is not supposed to be fun, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Your yarn is all loopy, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. I bet you all made a prediction about Grandpa. And I bet you we were all right in what Grandpa's prediction was going to be. Let's see what Ma and Pa's reaction is. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Pretty consistent, huh? No changes. Oh my goodness, he continues to not just shock his parents, but us readers too. Look at Wilbur. Oh, he's definitely not doing what the average sheep do. Wilbur had a little trouble dying wool today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. Get him. <laughs> Look at his wool. He dyed it colors. I love that. Instead of dyeing the yarn, I dyed myself, said Wilbur. I like experimenting. You look unbelievable, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Ah, uh, it will never wash out, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. What are you noticing about their wool from the beginning of the story to the end? You notice that? <laughs> Wilbur had a little trouble weaving today, said Ma. What happened, asked Pa. I put my head in the loom, said Wilbur, to weave my forelock. Oh, boy. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. But that's not what you were shown, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? So look what all the other kids did, boys and girls. And then look at Wilbur's. Oh, Wilbur. Gotta love him. So what now? What do you think Wilbur might do next? Hmm. So out loud to yourself, you would say, I think. So I think Wilbur might... But I do notice the things that he does do all have to do with sheep life. So maybe Wilbur, he might eat something different than what sheep normally do. Maybe he's going to try different foods. That kind of makes little sense. Let's see. Let's see what he does next. Well... It's unheard.
heard of, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Check out that mess, you guys. That's sure not what his friends looked like now, did it? What I always love to see Wilbur doing is he's always reading. Look at all these books and the planes and he tinkers and he experiments. He's a thinker. He likes to learn. And look, he likes to learn about instruments too. Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. And there's definitely evidence of that, right? What do you think now, guys? What is Wilbur going to do? What might his parents do? Are their reactions going to change at some point? I don't know. Let's see. Finally, Ma and Pa took Wil Wilbur aside and said, must follow the flock, dear. It's it's what sheep do. For now on. For now on what? For now on, what's he gonna have to do? What do the other sheep do? Predict that. What do you think? Wilbur will have to do. I think, and the thing that always stands out to me when I read the story is as this is happening and they're encouraging Wilbur to step back and be less of him and more like others. Look at Grandpa. Up till now, what has he shown? Every single page. He said, don't worry. It'll be okay. But now look. What's Grandpa worried about? So you could say, I think this is a great place for two predictions. So prediction of Grandpa and a prediction of Wilbur. So the predictions of our main characters definitely stand out a lot because there's a lot of evidence that support our, our characters. But we've seen plenty, even though Grandpa hasn't said or done a lot, this tells us a lot. This is a change. And so that is a big moment for a prediction. So what do you think? What do you predict is gonna happen with Grandpa next? Let's read on and find out. For now on, you will stay with the herd like everyone else. You will shear wool like everyone else. You will card wool like everyone else. You will spin wool like everyone else. And you will dye wool like everyone else. You will weave wool like everyone else, Wilbur. And look what happened. Oh, said Wilbur. Up till now, this is definitely another amazing spot for a prediction. Because just like in Grandpa, we saw a pattern of Grandpa's attitude and behavior and mood for the whole story and then it changed and boom that author wants us to think about what might be happening next and now look at Wilbur he's always been so happy and friendly and excited about learning and life and now look at him oh said Wilbur why is he down it kind of looks like he and Grandpa have something in common with their thinking and feeling. He thought and thought all night long. What's he thinking about, boys and girls? What do you predict? What do you predict is going to 
happen next? What do you predict he's thinking about? Or was what's he gonna do? Do you predict that Wilbur will wake up the next day and do exactly what his parents said? Do you think he'll wake up the next day even sadder or more inspired, less inspired, more confident, less confident? Let's see. And from then on, Wolber taught everyone to run with the dogs. Brilliant. He taught everyone to run. And look at who's that? Who's catching all of it? Who's catching those memories of his grandson? He taught everyone to let their wool grow. Whoop, whoop. And they don't look frustrated. They don't look sad. They don't look down. They all look like they're happy. And he taught them all to card their own wool. Kind of like we're taught to brush our own hair. Look, Grandpa's in on it. Man, now I see the connection between Grandpa and Wolbur. They have a lot in common. They like to learn. They're adventurous. They like to help everyone see themselves. Look how happy Grandpa is. He's so proud of Wolbur. He taught everyone to spin crazy yarn. Woohoo! There's Grandpa right by his side. He taught everyone to experiment with color. I love this page. Wouldn't you love to be right there with all of our friends being crazy and swimming in paint? That'd be interesting. But Wilbur, look how happy he's making everybody and himself. And he taught everyone to weave their forelocks. Oh, I love it. And they're all different. They're still not all the same. They're all a little bit different, including who's his teachers. Extraordinary. So what was Wilbur's solution to having to not be himself and be like everyone else? What was his solution? How did he respond? Well, at this point, how do we think Mom and Pa are going to react? Oh, boy. Look at their faces. Everyone's running around catching bugs. And Ma and Pa put their heads in their hooves and sighed. Wilbur, Wilbur does not think like we do, said Ma. I know, said Pa. Now everyone looks like Wilbur and acts like Wilbur, said Ma. I know, said Pa. How will we ever find him? <laughs> Don't worry, said Grandpa. Don't worry. <laughs> I love that. They have a lot in common, don't they? He and his grandpa, they learn, teach themselves new things. They helped others grow and change too and to think differently. And what I love is Wilbur helped to teach them acceptance and tolerance and change. It's okay to be different. And look at Mom and Pa. They came around too. I love that.
So boys and girls, to end this story on your page, on your page, hi there, on your page, in your link, in your lesson, I have a new box for you that's titled Padlet because Jamboard didn't go so well yesterday and that's okay. So I have a box that's titled Padlet. And if you need Padlet coaching, watch the extra little mini video attached for you. I want you to do an end of the story prediction today. Predict for me what you think Wilbur is going to do later today. Or what do you think Wilbur is going to do next? Add a little bit of detail too. I think Wilbur is going to because. Try to give us an example. Type in that information. And when you go into Padlet, don't forget to find your teachers. Read your teacher's prediction too. All right, readers? Happy predicting. Bye-bye.